We're here at the ITU studio in Geneva, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Ms. Omabola Johnson, who is Minister of Communications Technology for Nigeria. Minister, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Nigeria is a major supporter of ITU Telecom events and will be present at ITU Telecom World in Bangkok this November. I wanted to ask you, what will your national pavilion highlight and what will your key messages be? Well, we always have a fairly big pavilion, as, as, as you know. Um, and I think that this year what we're really going to focus on, as we did last year, but a little bit more of it, is really our local industry. We want to showcase what we've done in the telecoms industry. We typically have the big telecoms operators, the network operators support us quite well. But what we did last year was we brought about four or five young entrepreneurs, ICT entrepreneurs, who'd done different things, software, uh, device design. And we're going to do that again this year because we're really trying to build up the local industry and what we see as a very fast-growing, very uh, exciting industry. So that's, what, that's the highlight of, uh, of our presence at the, at, in Bangkok. And what are the most exciting ICT projects and initiatives happening now or, or in the near future in Nigeria? Mm. Well, I think the most exciting thing is that we, we've got our broadband plan. Uh, the president, Mr. President set up a committee last uh, year and the presidential committee completed their work. Uh, we now have, it's actually more than a plan, it's a strategy and a roadmap. So we not only have what we want to do, we, we talk about how we're going to do it and when we're going to do it. So that's quite exciting. The Broadband Council, which is a, a council that comprises both public sector and private sector, and that's really going to drive this implementation that was, was inaugurated uh, last week. So that's really uh, quite, quite exciting. We've set up a number of our innovation centers, which are really going to, again, support our young ICT entrepreneurs with uh, venture capital, with mentorship, with a space to really work and think, and hopefully grow new businesses out of this. And we might be able to bring some of those, one or two of those young ICT entrepreneurs to Bangkok, like I said earlier, to showcase what they're doing. So a lot of exciting things going on in the industry. Brilliant. What are the roles of government and the private sector in ensuring broadband rollout? So th the roles are really quite clearly defined between public sector and, and private sector. For us in the public sector, it's really about creating that enabling environment, making sure there's spectrum, making sure that all the hindrances to right of way and everything that comes with building ICT infrastructure are taken out of the way. And for the private sector, it's really for them to bring in their money, their men, their equipment, and just ensure that we meet those targets to roll out, to get broadband out to about 20% uh, penetration by the end of 2017. And can I ask you, what's the importance of the ICT industry in diversifying the economy in Nigeria? Extremely important. Uh, we see today this industry contributes about 6% to GDP. It's growing at about 20, between 25 and 30%, so it's the fastest growing sector. So we see it contributing a lot more. Uh, so when you look at an industry that has been dominated by, by uh, agri revenue earnings that are dominated by oil and gas, this really is one industry that does two things. First of all, it allows us to diversify the economy. Second of all, it helps us to employ young Nigerians, because whether it's in the um, software side or the hardware side, or even uh, the, the, the device design, or even just the, um, uh, the knowledge part of it. I mean, there's so much scope for creating jobs in ICT. And really, so uh, in, addi in addition to diversifying the economy from a GDP point of view, there really is that great opportunity to create jobs and get young people engaged. Finally, as a long-standing partner of telecom events, why does the conversation at World 2013 matter to Nigeria? It's very important for us. As you know, you know Nigeria participates quite, hev quite uh, heavily in telecoms world. Uh, there are three things that I think that it's why it's important to us. First of all, it's an opportunity to know what's going on in the telecoms world and ensure that we, our industry is aligned with that. Second, it's an opportunity to engage. Uh, we have ministers, regulators from both developed and developing economies. We've got some of the largest telecoms operators in, uh, in you know, literally one room at the same time. So it really does give us a chance to engage and to, and to network. And like I said earlier, the third reason that it's important is for people to then see what's going on in Nigeria. It's an opportunity for us to get investments into Nigeria. We need several billions of dollars to build this ICT infrastructure, this broadband infrastructure. And one of the ways we can do that is have a number of people in the room uh, where we can actually present what we're doing and why it is, it is good to come and invest in Nigeria. And so, as you know, we sponsor the lunch and also the leaders' lunch. And we also have a very uh, big pavilion where we showcase what we've done and really begin to encourage investments into the telecom sector in Nigeria. Minister Mabella Johnson, thank you very much indeed for being with us today and I look forward to seeing you in Bangkok. Thank you.